I'm sure you guys have heard about this by now, but Brittany Renner loses it on a podcast when PJ Washington is brought up. I don't even understand why she gets mad already. We all know every time that an athlete's brought up and a shorty trying to burn an athlete, she's the face of the act. And I hate that she gets mad that she does a face at the act or she acts crazy. Shorty, you know the video. I don't even got to say it because everyone that brings this up shows the video with shorty in the car saying athletes are the dumbest niggas and she's in some leggings. Yo, what are you said it they followed it worked you got an athlete we trying to give you your flowers while you can still smell them isn't that what they try to tell us give people their flowers well shorty you the greatest that we've ever seen before you called it and you did it you was like lebron james you said he was coming to miami she called the championships i'm not winning one i'm not winning two but three but he only won two she only got one but that might be all you need now let's jump into this and see britney renner going insane in the membrane this is the eight minute video i'm not sure if i've seen anything this long i just saw a couple little clips on social media when this was circling let's see what this is all about pj just got an amazing contract how does that make you feel as a woman knowing that's your baby father what is your first view on that honestly i want my child's father to win <laughs> exactly it's just good what shit. it is good shit and regardless of what of what people say i believe he deserves whatever he feels he's worthy of it whatever that contract looks like that's what it looks like and i didn't have a child you know, I had a, a second degree tear. You know what that looks like? I don't. It kind of sounds like I know what it is. I don't know what it looks like, but I've heard sometimes when girls give birth and they push too hard, their butthole and their vagina become one. That is a little gruesome to say. I'm not going to lie. you saying that shit out loud is gruesome. I can't imagine going through it. So shout out to all of you women out there that went through something similar, but I'm assuming that's what a second degree tear is. Again, this is all alleged. I'm not too sure. Have I ever went through one? No, am I 100 So with that being said, I'm not 100% sure what she means, but I think that's what she's talking. I'm gonna no. say just Hello? say no. I'm gonna Hello? say no for all of us. Can everybody fucking listen? Hello? <laughs> yeah, you, a second like, degree tear? You know what that looks like? Do. I mean, I mean, that ball was that big when you had him. He was, I think it was 8.1.5. That means she had. My mom told me I was a 10 pound baby. Oh, I was big as shit. Big, big baby. Almost nine pounds, right? Another NBA player. Does that matter to you? Does that matter to you? Who had such a motherfucking opinion around me? So the clip I saw on social media was when the light skinned homie, I'm, not, I'm sure he's probably one of the hosts of the show, but he told her that when he first heard of her, he was not a fan and did not like her. After that, she went insane. This looks like we're about to get a little bit more backing up, more context to the story, because now she's going to further explain. Charleston White's in the cut. Charleston White's looking at the podcast members and Brittany Renner all at the same time. Crazy eyes over there crazy eyes wait Does time that out matter? it's group my, my opinion changed but Hold yeah no on! <laughs> answer the motherfucking question no it didn't initially no hell okay no. i had a second degree tear that means they sewed me up yeah okay uh, right you know yeah so her shit ripped what that means that means i love that mother my was fucking split open for him you understand that you lost nine pounds i'm not sure that's how love works just because you have a baby by somebody that's super rich and it could be beneficial. I'm not saying that's why you did it because I don't know nothing. I don't even know you in real life. But having a child with an athlete that we know is going to be a success in the league, got a big contract off the rip. Shorty was with the kid since day one, I believe since college, if I'm not tripping. And you have a kid by him. All that shit tells me is that you certified the check. You might as well go cash it. That's all it tells me. Love, I don't hear love in that. I hear money, 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 money. Okay. Gratefully, I had a five pound baby. Good for you. Yeah, My yeah. baby was on was nine pounds. Big boy. Okay? Yeah. And that's just what it is. All right? No, I wanted to say that because I think it is important. A lot of people do. What's important? That you do wish well for them. Uh, most, most, most. Here's the thing. Let me, t let me just tell you. You and everyone in the that are commenting, she's doing too much. She's, she ain't. I did. Some people also thought I saw online that Brittany Renner might have been under the influence of something. Again, I'm not a specialty in that. This is all alleged. But do you guys think it's just alcohol and she was super smacked? Because I see a cocktail right here. It looks like it's in front of Charleston. But if there's a cocktail somewhere, that means there's enough for everyone. Those are two bottles. I don't know what they are. It might be liquor bottles. I'm not too sure. I see a Red Bull. So you guys tell me, do you think this is how someone acts off the LQ? Or do you think this might be a little bit more? Today, this pussy <laughs> had a second degree tear. Do you know what that means? Wait a minute. Yeah, boy had a head like his daddy. Ma'am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy, yeah, boy had a head Matthew, like his daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, <it's your> <laughs> All right. Hold on. So, a ripped <laughs> vagina. Let me, hold on. 
Say it again. Say it again. again. For the people in the back. Let me tell you something. Nah, Shorty's holding a blending brush like a blunt. She just chilling around the whole thing, talking with a brush in her hand. Like, yeah, y'all don't understand how that shit be. I tear from point A to point B. You understand about that, son? Like, yo, put that brush down before you put some makeup on my shit. Pounds. Do you hear what I'm saying? I bought born 50 pounds. No, she, you gained. I gained oh. 50 pounds. Oh, oh shit. Charleston, 50 Char pounds. Charleston said that nigga was born. That's just 50 somebody. Pounds. I'm just whatever. It's about money. Let me tell you something. I can't. She gave birth to us. That's what. That's what all these people in the chat can't seem to understand. <laughs> they think I can be bought. They think that it's just about money. It's just whatever. It's the. <coughs> we don't think anything, shorty. <coughs> you always talk about money. You always talk about gaining shit from dudes. You were making videos talking about how to burn an athlete, how to do this. We ain't say nothing. We would have never known that you were that was a hidden talent. You kind of got a real innocent face. If I look at Brittany Renner in the face, she never said nothing. She didn't turn over a twerk yet. I might have been like, I'll leave my kids with her. I don't got kids, thank God, because I would have left them with Brittany Renner. Like, she looked like a real nice person in the face. She still might be the world's nicest person. All we're saying is that you are motivated by money. Your time ain't free. I, that, take that as a compliment or take it as disrespect. Or all I'm saying is that's what you portrayed about yourself. Somebody want to talk to you? Well, you're going to pay by the minute like this shit to collect coal. The highest bidder. I believe in true love. Hello. I heard her say that. But you I know, said we it a hundred fucking times. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, listen. Hello! Hey, listen, now listen. Let me say shut the <laughs> when a real bitch is talking. <laughs> okay. Shut up. Okay. Get shut the Take the room. Shut up. See, I was raised by a single mother. I argue too much. That bitch started screaming like that on my podcast, trying to tell niggas to shut up on my shit. She gonna storm off. This is gonna be one of the times they walk off because I gotta argue, shorty. I was raised by a single mother. I'm gonna start it that way. Shut the this man. <laughs> Yo, nah, Charleston's face is crazy. The only reason I won't use this man as a thumbnail is one of the only couple strikes I ever got on my channel was for me to react to some Charleston White shit. This ain't his, it's the only reason I'm reacting to it. Never reacted to Charleston White again after that shit. But this boy's a, he got that face that only a mother could love. <laughs> Cause I'm a real bitch. You hear what I'm saying? Talk. Shout out to my Harrow and Kumar fans out there. Remember the short, remember, remember that dude that lived in the woods that let niggas smack his wife and shorty was actually bad, like they were laying. He was like, yeah, no, nah, come and clap my wife when you inside the crib. Harold was a little scared. Kumar was lock and loaded. He reminded me of the, of the hood version of him. And I care. And I'm a hopeful romantic, but I can't control. That sounds good. The day, that sounds good. Try to good. force something that wasn't mine. That wasn't my person. And that's okay. He's sitting over there fucking. Shut the Oh shit! Shut, no. up. shut the fuck up when I'm talking. That's peripherals. Shut up. That's peripherals. Seriously, shut the fuck up when I'm talking. Cause if you ever felt real love to where you have a motherfucking second degree tear, mm. hello? Mm. Hello? Oh, no. he, didn't oh, hello? Oh, he didn't mean it. Hello? He didn't mean it. Hello? You don't know what it's like. Oh shit! I'm sorry. <laughs> I meant to hit this nigga. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Let me tell you wrong something. Guy, champ, wrong guy. Shut up. This right here is about to go. Let me tell you something. Yo, yo, we good. We good. Shut up. We good. Talking. Yo, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. I mean to hit that nigga. Because you sitting over here laughing. Uh, chill, 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 chill. Relax, relax. I ain't chilling. Relax, relax. Because at the end of the day, it ain't your pussy. Hey, listen. I hear you. Hey, listen. That's fine. But guess what? You protecting him is what it is. Is it not? Is it not? Is it not? She hit the wrong nigga. Hey, don't be sitting over here laughing. Let me tell you, I, I end up hearing that the dude that was sitting behind a, the dude sitting behind the camera, I'm having a brain fart right now, but I I heard he was a heavyweight champion of the world, and I'm letting down my sports fans right now, because usually I'm good at this. I'd be like, bow when it comes to the name. It's a heavyweight champion of the world, and it ain't Mike. I ain't talking to you. I ain't talking to him right here. I ain't talking to you. Yo, you just I ain't talking about, 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 about that. That ain't my shit, then. That ain't my shit. That ain't my shit. I don't hit women, yo. That's all right, this shit. right here. Chip it out. We're good. We're good. Apologies, champ. At the end of the day, lady, for real. all right, I'm talking about lady. I don't care. At the end of the day, nobody knows what I went through. Nobody knows what I'm going through. So nobody, you, him, 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 whoever the fuck, you don't get to sit here and talk about shit. Ain't no this is drunk bitches playing and stuff. I told you that was a perception about Shorty. She was off. They, everybody was saying she was off the liquor here. See, I didn't watch this. See, I didn't watch this long of an argument. I just saw a couple clips on social media. This shit is wild though. This shit is definitely wild. I think she might have just been off the LQ. I ain't even gonna hold you. The more I keep watching, I think she was off the LQ. If she was off something else, I wouldn't be the one to say it, but I think she's off the LQ. The champ wasn't having it. He got hit with the water bottle instead. He's tight. 
he's tight, calls her out her name, calls her drunk. But it's funny how Brittany was trying to big, big, trying to get big with everybody, and now she's kind of relaxing a little bit. Like, she's still talking her shit back me then, because she know he ain't gonna hit on camera. Please, let's just have a conversation, and everyone makes it home. They drunk, bitch, you about nothing. What's up? We family here. We family here. What's up? We family here. What's up? Chap, chap, no. We family, please. We family here. That boy sound crazy. We family here. Shorty, please, relax. We family here. The biggest dude in the room, that's who you pick, though? That's who you pick to, like, really keep going back and forth. So you gotta grab Shorty by her arm and be like, yo, relax. And Shorty's like, nah. I'm with my nigga. What you want to do? You're the nigga. You're the nigga. Like, who the nigga? And then you remember it's you. Oh, shit. It's me. I ain't talking about nothing. We ain't talking about nothing. We family. This is Charleston's people, not mine. She it's Charleston's people. She ain't champ. No, she we family. We he family. say you all right. I ain't no fucking security, bitch. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Tell him, tell him, tell him. That ain't my shit, then. It's all good. That ain't my shit, then. Come on. This is your shit. Nah, this shit is getting crazy. This shit is getting crazy. And she kind of disrespected him, too. She said, what is this, Charleston's people? Like, you know, this shit is getting crazy. And she kind of disrespected him, too. She said, what is this, Charleston's people? Assuming because he's black. That was a little prejudging. But he's not security. That's what I'm saying. That's wow. To try to downplay a dude like that. Like, yo, crazy. She never said security, but she said Charleston's people. Like, bruh, he's probably a bigger celebrity than Charleston White. I just don't got my trivia in priority because I definitely should know, remember his name. I want to say Sean something. It's starting to come to me. It's starting to come to me. Chill, 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 chill. Yeah, let's relax. Let's relax. Let's relax. Let's relax. Let's relax. All right, let's reset the room. Let's, let's reset the room. It is what it is. Let's reset the room. It is what it is. Everybody cool, guys. Everybody cool. Now that shit really be getting me tight, though. You gotta play it off like you're not tight, but now that shit low key get me tight. You gotta play it off like you're not tight because you don't want them to feel like they won. This is the clip that I remember seeing. So I saw the argument from here forward when she was arguing with the heavyweight champion, with the ex heavyweight champion of the world. Family here, guys. Hey, family here. Guys. You don't, you don't like Bernie Renner. He's still Bernie five Renner minutes in. We family. Family. All right, all right, all right. Let's relax. Let's reset the room for a second. Nah, nah don't reset shit. We on. It's <laughs> <laughs> a project. Hey, Capricorn in the most building. Hey, let me tell you something. I, hey, I don't care what you talking about. Cause I really buy a nigga in here shit. <laughs> No, this is my touch up. <laughs> you good. Listen, let me tell you something. Don't nobody get to tell me shit about shit. Right. At the end of the day, Carlson. Yes, ma'am. This, yes, ma'am. This is like a real nigga right yes, here. Right. And if I didn't understand. You low key might have added an ER to the end of that. But yo, that shit, every time she says some shit about him again, it gets me nervous. Cause I'm ready to just hear him in the back yelling, like, no mic, no mic, no mic, no mic. This was, this, remember back in the day, Joe Budden early episodes, there would be like people talking from the back with no microphone. Remind me of that vibe, like, yo, chill, relax, y'all can argue off it. Even though it equals a viral moment, but it's definitely bad podcasting. And him? Yes. And these two dudes gotta control the room. Like, I know I could understand it gets hard, but I could see somebody just kicking her off the set, like, knowing that it's not even worth it. I can't see something like this happening on like the Joe Budden podcast. It just don't make sense to me. Like this, million dollars worth the game. Like her throwing shit at Gilly and Wallow and Colton. I just don't. I literally, those are two podcasters that to me, I, I can see this happening at No Jumper. I can't see this happening at million dollars worth the game or the JBP. I just, I just can't. Can you understand me? We want to understand each other. Right. So what's up? I'm just happy. Yeah, I got a good grip. Yeah, I see shit you strong. Yeah, shit. I can tell you play sports. Mm. Y'all can tell you play sports. Yeah, I did. I can tell you. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Ma'am. You gotta. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? What we Shut doing, Charles? I'm reading all that shit over that shit. I done got into the comments. Shut up, bitch. While real bitches talking. All right, so let's. You see, I definitely never seen this long of a clip. Like, this shit is just the most awkwardest moment in 2023 podcast. If there was an award show for podcasts, I'm not sure they might be. I don't even know. They might be. Awkward podcast moment is a category. This got to go up there because this this is very awkward. Let's reset. Get back to what we were talking what about. What were we talking about? We're uh, peace, love, health, and wealth. A great he don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> he don't even know what he's talking about. Hold me that been screaming. We family for the last five. Peace, love, health, and wealth. Like nah, he might be the best ever. Like that shit is crazy. He's just off the rip. I keep looking at my phone because I ordered a box of lobsters. They just trying to change the subject. I'm great at that. I'm great at that. That's one of my hidden titles in life. To tear Charles uh, 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 PJ and what and everything that occurred and you know that you do wish well for hey, him of what everything that went I on. always do because you know what I had a baby for him yo shout out to Danza's project I'm gonna definitely check out their channel um right after this try to watch some content on my own time 
that was my first time getting introduced to their channel, but that was insane. I still can't believe what we saw. It was just a very awkward exchange. Like, I don't even got much to say about it. Stuff like that just gets me happy that I got a girl. Because I remember those days when you were out there and you just happened to be super lit and you going out all the time. The ratio of you bumping into somebody like this is not very high, but it was like sometimes you would bump into somebody like this. Oh shit, you throw the afty at your crib, shorty come through. That's always how it really was too. Like you'll throw an afty at your spot when I used to live with the guys back then. A friend would bring a friend and their friend would always get belligerent. Not always with me, I'm not saying personally with me. I kind of got good luck with avoiding this situation. I have a rule of thumb in my life that I always remind myself. If I'm not ha if I'm not hitting it, I'm not arguing with you. Like we got nothing to argue about. We do not. Remember how Mike Tyson said he don't do interviews unless I can't even repeat that in 2023. Are you talking out of turn? No, I think we're all talking together. I normally don't do interviews with women unless I fornicate with them. So you shouldn't talk anymore unless you want to but that see i'm not that no i love to have interviews what is equality <laughs> I, I i've been i've been practicing every day i could read my pr book i do it before bed that's my rule of thumb if we are not having intercourse i got nothing to argue with you shorty about there is unless you don't got a boyfriend or something and we can't handle it that way me and you have no discussion to have like there's no point to even go back and forth because it's gonna get me hot and I can't even do much about it unless, like, you get me, like, my girl too old. Like, my girl be <laughs> shadow boxing. I'm telling you, she be wilding. She be wilding. But still, it's too old for me to even call my drone. Like, yo, I need you to beat this bitch up. Like, you know, it's just crazy. That's not the situation I'm trying to put people in this time in life. What the hell was Brittany running on? She was tweaking. Tweaking out. Do you guys think that everything was handled well? I don't know. This was just wild. There was another part that she started throwing water on everybody. I didn't even want to play that. I saw that on like act two, like earlier throughout the week. Let's see if we can find that. Yeah, um, we're not, we can't put the, she twerked on Charleston White. We can't do that just cause it's not even worth me getting hit by. Damn, I was trying to see if they posted it. There's a short right here. I don't know. It's feel uncomfortable like it. to be wet. Is it? Yeah. I've never been wet before, but yeah, I'm sure it's uncomfortable it? to be wet. You know, moist is one thing, but wet is just. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't what we shooting for. You know what I mean? Look at his face, like he knows she's up to something. Isn't that Miss, Miss, Miss Ma'am? No. Nope. No, come on, please, come on, man, please. No, come on, man, please. I need you to, I need please. you to be kind and respectful oh, to my, oh, to my man. guests. Oh, what, come on, man, please. Oh, 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 oh. Where that pig poker at, man? Go. Where that pig poker at? <laughs> Let me call my man Charles Savoy, Batman, because he always got a hidden weapon. Go ahead and get the pig poker out. I gotta blur this. Wait a minute. Oh, 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 it's, it's, wait a minute. Yo, yo, this shit is bad every time I watch it. Like, no cap. Every time I watch this shit, it's just so disrespectful. Like, equipment on, microphone in front of his face, headset on. Look at the shock in his face. Like, he don't believe what just happened. No cap. His brain is still processing right now what just happened. This brings me back to my childhood, SpongeBob going through folders. Like, he's looking for this file on what to do in a situation like this because he never visualized it. His name, what's his name? I got nothing on a name. Come on, baby, what's the name? He probably visualized him Brittany running in a room and wetness happening in a different matter, but not him getting hit with a water bottle while another man gets a lappy. Like, nah, that's oh, the disrespect. Look at his face. He just can't believe it. Uh-uh, she all on me. I did nothing for that. Oh, that's oh, that's oh, 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 Miss Renner, Miss. It's uncomfortable to be wet. Nah, that's okay. Is it? Yeah. I've never been wet before, but yeah, I'm sure it's uncomfortable to be wet. I can't even play no more. This is giving me a headache as I just... This shit is driving me crazy as I keep watching it. We good for now, but what do you guys think about this? Was she tweaking or was she tweaking? You don't even got an option. You know, usually I'd be like, oh, let me know down below. You can agree with me down below. If you don't think she was tweaking, you might be tweaking. We're on the road to 10,000 subs. Sub up!